Vanessa, I get asked how does the hive work? Sorry, Gardner's Beehive guy here, and Gardner's Beehive. How does this work compared to other hives? As you can see, there's no partitions, the thing doesn't come to pieces, just like a tree stump. Surprisingly enough, trees do not change shape nor should a beehive and this is very critical for bees to be able to overwinter successfully if the beehive or the accommodation keeps changing shape their ability to overwinter diminishes at an exponential rate um, so if it doesn't change what they can then do is they can accurately work out how much space they have how much honey they can store as a percentage of that space and then when they die back before winter how many bees to have for that amount of honey for that amount of insulation to be able to successfully survive most any winter and that's quite critical so then the question is how do you get out honey out of something that first of all you do not go into and then you cannot change the volume of well the thing is tree stumps are never a perfect cavity there are always little nooks and crannies for as trees are so what they'll do is in the main cavity in the main compartment they will allocate stock for winter and an area for making babies stock for winter and an area for making babies then what they'll do is in all the little nooks and crannies they will use those as buffer areas through the summer I put a box on the side you take the cork out put the box on and you leave it over summer they will then find the cavity they'll propolis it all up and then not always but most of the time they will then fill that up with comb depending on the season this is a completely self-regulating it makes it peculiar to all other systems no other system is completely self-regulating the only reason why i do this is because of a quirk that bunny honeybees have and this is the quirk when they're feeding on this honey in winter they will eat upwards on this honey and they'll eat upwards and upwards and upwards if for whatever reason say they're living in canada and it's a harsh winter or a really long winter and they run out of honey they will eat this honey and they will starve to death and die they will not go forage inside their own hive even if there is honey inside the hive this is a peculiar quirk two and a half inches is the distance that they will not travel there's honey two and a half inches away sideways they will not go to it down or sideways they will not travel to it so i thought to myself how can we take advantage of this quirk so this is why i have the hole slightly further down and to the side and a box goes on the side opposed to adding to the main cavity completely self-regulating unusual to the gardener's beehive no other beekeeping system uses this which is pretty cool um, I don't have a box here but if you look on the website you'll see the box it just goes on the side so you can put up to three honey boxes on if you put four on it's a volume ratio thing this does not have a queen excluder it is just a hole it is based on the premise that the queen will stay in the main compartment she will venture out into all the other little nooks and crannies but she will generally not lay in them so she will stay in the main compartment no queen excluder but if you put four boxes on because you change the volume and the volume at the top becomes larger she will tend to then lay in the side boxes and more than likely will try and overwinter in one of the side boxes and then it all goes wrong um, so you put the box on in spring you leave it over summer you take it off in late autumn you take one box off at a time over a three week period you take the box off you lay it down so that the box is actually touching the leg the front leg because for whatever reason if the queen happens to be in the side box she can't fly however she can walk and she will walk back inside the hive take the box off you go inside you have supper or tea or dinner uh, whatever you want to call it your evening meal you come out when it's dark the bees have then all gone inside you can take the box you can get a bowl you can cut all the honey out you'll have a bowl full of comb, comb and honey you can then take that box put the cork back in put another cork in perhaps and then you can either leave the box on the floor on the ground or you can screw it back on as long as the bees no longer can access 
um, that box through winter. Um, springtime, cork out, box on, happy days, here we go again. Uh, but like I say, it's based on what's happening in the environment and um, the personality of the bees in that hive. Uh, some hives that, for whatever reason, never ever go into the side boxes. Um, regardless of what, how the genetic line changes, um, they, for whatever reason, just will not. And others, prolific. Um, so that's basically how the gardener's beehive works. You set it up, spray the lure, a mother and her daughters move in, they will fill this up with honey and wax. In the second or third season, you can put honey boxes on, and then with a bit of luck, get a bit of honey. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please do get hold of me. Cheers, bye.